Hey guys and happy Sunday fun day. So for today I'm going to be using another one of these cutting board signs from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to go ahead and remove that middle part and before you discard it you're going to trace the um, the shape of it out on the cutting board. When I pulled it off I did kind of pull a little bit of the little paper or the picture part of it off but we'll go ahead and fix that later so what you're going to do is you're going to take a ruler and your box cutter and you are just going to trace that line with your box cutter and cut it all the way through you're going to have to do it quite a few times and once you're done it pops right out you're just going to put that middle part to the side because you can use it for something else then what you're going to do is you're going to sand off those edges i'm using this little mini hand sander i love it and I use it all of the time. It comes in handy, I'm telling you. Then I'm going to take my um, desktop vacuum and I'm going to clean up my mess. I will put a link to both of those items in my description box in case you're interested. They are amazing. I love them. So then what you're going to do, you're going to need one of these packs of scouring pads. I got these from the Dollar Tree. I just went ahead and unrolled it. And then you're going to take some scissors. They cut really easily. And you're just going to cut along one of the sides. And if you haven't guessed already, I'm going to be using this like as a faux like chicken wire. So you're just going to go ahead, cut that one side, unroll it, and then turn your sign around. And today I am participating in Sunday Fun Day. It is hosted by Janny and Diane over at Deco Easy and the Crafting Cousins, Trish and Kay. And if you're coming over here from the playlist, thank you so much. I appreciate you. If you're one of my returning subscribers, thank you so much. And be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, comment down below. Let me know you came over from the playlist. I love chatting with you guys. And for my next step, what you're going to do after you have unrolled the scouring pad is you're going to take some popsicle sticks and you're going to hot glue the top part of it down to hold the back of the um, or hold the scouring pad onto the back of the sign. And the popsicle sticks is going to make it easier because if you just put the hot glue on there, it's not really going to do anything. It's just going to, you know, sit on top of the uh the scouring pad so you put the popsicle stick on there and it just gives it extra support and holds it in place so you're just going to do that all the way around the back of the sign cutting up the popsicle sticks whenever you you know whenever you need them to fit you just cut them down with some scissors and they cut really easily so you do that like I said all the way around and don't worry about the excess uh, scouring pad you're going to just trim that off once you're done gluing the whole you know the whole thing down on the back so once you're done um gluing the hot sticks the hot sticks <laughs> the craft sticks on there like I said you're going to take your scissors and you're going to start to trim all the excess um chicken wire off of the back and again this cuts really easily I don't know if it's because my scissor I love these scissors I get them from Harbor Freight but um even if you don't, I think they would cut fairly easily just with some regular scissors. So the next thing I'm going to do is I got this little um, windmill, like wood laser cutout from Hobby Lobby. And then I'm going to be using some letters that I got from the Dollar Tree and some little sticks that came in this wood pack that I got from the Dollar Tree. So I'm just going to be using all those to kind of to decorate the... The middle of the sign here so the first thing that I'm gonna do after I cut the little tag off is I am gonna um, stain these and what I'm gonna use to stain them is furniture like correction markers um, or I don't know what they're what they're called but they're um, like I think they're called correction markers you'll, I'll, you'll see it here in a second and I use those whenever I'm trying to stain like small pieces of wood just because it's easier than pulling out, you know, a whole, like, pulling out the stain or pulling out the Waverly Wax. It dries really quick and they work perfectly and they come in different colors so you can pretty much match them to just about any decor piece that you have. So 
just going to go ahead and go through and stain all of the pieces. I'm not going to show you me staining all of them, but just showing you here that I went ahead and stained the whole thing, you know, all the letters. I didn't do the backs of them, but I did do the little side part of it and the whole front end of them. And once they are done, I love it. It just looks like stained wood pieces and it works perfectly. And like I said, for small pieces like this, they work out great because you can just kind of go over them real quick and it works just fine. So once I am done um, staining all of the wood pieces, I'm going to go ahead and start gluing all of the pieces to the back. Now, because it is chicken wire, you are going to need, again, to use something in the back to kind of hold them onto the chicken wire. And that's where those little, they look like toothpicks, but they're flat. So that's where those kind of come in handy. And if you don't have those, you could just use like a wood skewer or uh, you know, even if a popsicle stick just kind of cut it up, that would work too. But these were perfect because they're so thin and they're flat and they held everything in place for me. So all you're going to do is go through and hot glue all of the wood pieces onto the chicken wire, however you want them. And you can put whatever you want here. It doesn't have to be, you know, these wood signs. It can be a picture it can be I mean whatever you have you can you know put that in there I just thought this was perfect for this little sign and I love these little cutting board signs from the Dollar Tree and so I've been trying to use them in as many different ways as I can so I will include in the description box the other um, DIYs that I've done with these cutting boards like I said, I think they just turn out so cute and, you know, you don't have to do a whole lot to them because they have that like shiplap look to them already. So you just have to kind of decorate them. I love them. So once I am done gluing all of these pieces on there, um, I'm going to fix that part in the front where the, the, the shiplap piece kind of tore off. And how I'm going to fix that or how I'm going to remedy that is I'm just going to take some jute twine and just wrap it around. I You'll see here in a minute that I had like some nautical rope and I was trying to see if I was going to like frame the whole piece with it. I just couldn't decide what I wanted to do. I was trying a few different, <laughs> a few different ways to, to fix it. And I just ended up going with the jute twine because it wasn't so overwhelming as that rope was going to be and the jute twine the jute twine jute twine worked out great so like i said i'm going to go with that so here i am doing the wood letters and again i'm just taking the little wood flat toothpick pieces <laughs> and i'm going to hot glue it to the back of the letters and that holds them in place perfectly and you don't need a whole lot of glue you don't need I'm telling you it works out great it holds them in place and it looks great so I'm not going to show you me doing all of the letters and I feel like I have been babbling this whole time and talking through the whole thing so I'm just gonna move on to the next step and that is showing you what I did with the rope and once I am oh I don't know what happened there but um I'm going to go ahead and show you what I did with the jute twine. So I'm here I am trying to figure out whether to use rope or whether to wrap it around or I didn't know what I wanted to do. Like I said, I was kind of just trying to cover up that little piece. I even think I tried to make like a bow <laughs> with the jute twine at one point and I just couldn't figure it out. And then I said, you know what, I'm just going to take the jute twine, wrap it around and I just put some on the top and on the bottom just so that it matches and that is all I did with this, you guys. You can decorate it however you want. I think it is an adorable piece for your kitchen or any part of your house where you decorate, you know, farmhouse. And of course, if you don't want it to be farmhouse, you can paint it and turn it into, you know, something else. Put a piece of glass in there, a piece of plastic, beads, anything you want. You can do whatever you want with it. I just think this turned out so cute. So that is it for this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Again, please hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit the notification bell so that you're notified every time that I upload. 
and here I am trying to take off I don't know what was up with this jew twine it was crazy thick and knotted up and furry in one spot so I was just trimming it with the scissors um but that is it guys again thank you so much and I hope you enjoy this one I've got a lot of new videos coming out a whole lot of content coming your way because I've got some ideas for all kinds of decor and my ideas are just overflowing in my head so I've got to get them out and put them put them into action and make them come to you know come to fruition because I don't want to miss out you know showing you guys inspiration and showing you what you guys can do with these Dollar Tree items or thrifted items that you find so just be on the lookout and if you don't want to miss it hit that notification bell so that you are notified when I upload so that is it guys and until next time be blessed and be the reason someone smiles bye guys